We begin tonight with a grueling search that took several Michigan State Police K-9 teams to find a woman who went missing after crashing near a cornfield. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now the search took them through swampy areas and dense cornfields. One trooper even sustaining minor injuries to his face as he and his dog would not give up. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig went to Livingston County and talked to the trooper who told the victim's family, I will find her. The missing woman was found deep inside 200 acres of dense cornfield. It was a brutal search, but the trooper who found her with his canine partner says they were not giving up. I've been doing this so long, you know, you make contact with the family, you feel for them, and uh, you know that, uh, you know, you're just trying to have a good outcome. Michigan State Police Trooper Jeff Schreiber and his canine partner Woodson are heroes to a local family after finding their loved one alive. The woman was lost in a cornfield that was nine foot high and very dense. It was believed that she had crashed on Sunday and uh, nobody had heard or seen from her since then. And at that point in time, uh, we initiated a, a search. The Livingston County woman had been missing from her home in Deerfield Township near Howell since Sunday. Loved ones found her vehicle crashed into a tree near the massive cornfield. And while there was no sign of her, there were signs she was hurt. There was blood on the steering wheel and on the passenger seat. So I am guessing she was knocked out and then woke up disoriented. Michigan State Police were called in to help on Tuesday, including Trooper Schreiber and his partner Woodson, who specializes in finding people. His job was to locate a person at that point in time. He goes for any human that's in that area. It was muggy and hot and they had been searching for a very difficult nine hours. Uh, it feels like uh, needles going in your face as you're going through the corn, going at a high rate of speed with the dog. So. Wow, because he's because Woodson is moving fast. Correct. He's pulling. Then just as they were about to wrap up for the night, Schreiber knew his four legged partner was onto something. I was in the middle of the cornfield still and uh, he proceeded to pull me uh, about 75 yards in the right direction. And there deep in the cornfield, the missing crash victim clinging to life right as a storm was starting. The troopers responded and uh, we lifted her and uh, carried her over 200 yards through the swamp and the woods and the cornfields. The woman remains hospitalized. Her family just thankful Trooper Schreiber and Woodson did not give up because doctors told them she probably would not have survived even if two more hours had passed. And just so grateful and so wonderful. He told us, he goes, I promise you, I will find her. When you work that hard and you finally come to the end and you're just hoping for a good outcome, which at which time uh, normally we don't have good outcomes. And this one was a good outcome because she was alive. In Livingston County, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank goodness, right? That's the kind of news we like to hear. Yes, here. indeed. Thanks, Kim.